no? To jest to minus like. That's all right. That's flight two done. We're now in Tromso. Well, we've only been in the hotel for, I suppose, about half an hour. And um, if I'm honest, we're both quite tired, but you've got to make the most of it while you're here. So we've got beautiful clear skies at the moment. So we're going to get a bus and we're going to head up onto the cable car and up to the observation platform. I'm hoping this is going to be a fantastic view. stress how cold this is that is bitter out there that wind oh, I definitely need to get some more clothes on for tomorrow We've come down to one of the fjords. Uh, I'm not too sure the, the name of it. Well, I know the name, I just can't pronounce it. But um, let me just turn that round a little bit there. We're, we're not far away from sunset. So uh, I've got limited time to find a composition, but I'm hoping we're gonna get a really good sunset because the clouds look just about perfect. Well, due to lack of time, lack of light and lack of talent, I've uh, gone for the most obvious composition, which are these rocks here in the foreground and that mountain range over there in the background, purely because it's lit. I've kind of ignored this one a little bit. And I've also got a six stop ND grad on, which is giving me a 10 second exposure, which is really nice because it's just taking out all the ripples in the fjord there. Now I've already got this image and it looks really good on the back of the camera. I'm really pleased with it. So I can relax now, perhaps just walk along, perhaps find a, a, another composition or two, um, just play around and hopefully wait for what appears to be quite a nice sunset. Um, now my hopes of a good sunset is starting to fade. The really high clouds that was in the sky um, directly at the end of the fjord have now blown past and what looks to be on its way is nothing but blue skies, which is good for the aurora, but not good for sunset. But if this is all I get, this is all I get, I'm more than happy. Anyway, I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes. If I get nothing, I'm gonna go and join Helen, get warmed up and get a nice coffee. clear this water is and look let me see if I can zoom in I 
Look, starfish. I didn't know starfish lived in such cold waters. Do you know what? If I had an education, I'd be really interesting. Just spoke to the lady in the calf about the starfish and we said, oh, you know, you've got starfish out there. And she went, yeah, of course we do. But I'm kind of hoping that's a bit of a Norwegian phrase. Yeah, you know, of course we do. I'm not a, yeah, of course we do, fatty. Go and read a book. That'd be the first one, wouldn't it? They're polite, these people. Aren't they? Are they? We're now at the bottom of Tromso, um, and I keep calling it Tromso Beach. I'm not too sure it's called that actually. Um, but let me turn this camera around and show you. Now these, these are the rocks that I want as a foreground interest. Um, I didn't have them in the ones earlier today. They were totally different, but this is what I had in mind the whole time. Something that's very low to the ground, beautiful texture and all I've got to do now is just try and find a composition away from the sun so obviously something perhaps that shooting that way with that type of rock right let's go on a scouting mission and let's have a little look and I'm starting to foul now on this on this mission trying to find these nice flat rocks that that lead into something in the background and I just can't find it, I really can't. Not in the right direction. They're all facing towards the sun, which is obviously, which is not what I want. Oh, we may be on a winner here. I'm literally only about 100 foot from that last bit of filming. This may work. Right, I'm gonna set up, let's give this a go. I don't think that needs an ND grad on there, I really don't. But the question is now, is do I put a big stopper on? Just to try and make that fjord look a little bit smoother. All right, let me take the test shot and see how that comes out. suffers terribly with the cold and we and we really did suffer well Helen really suffered last night I think it was the adrenaline with the Aurora and we kind of took advice from a, a guy in a hiking shop about base layers mid layers and then a coat over the top but the only way Helen can stay warm is by what you're wearing two thermals two base layers yeah two mid layers Two coats, <laughs> a scarf, two hats, two pairs of gloves, two pairs of socks, and, and a pair of snow boots. And on your legs? Oh, thermals, a pair of jeans, and ski trousers. And you had two hoods on as well. You got two oh, hats? Two, two hoods and two hats, yeah. <laughs> and then you've got hand warmers in your gloves as well. No, you've got two hoods on oh, already. There we go. You don't even know what you got on. So you've got four hats on now, basically. Yeah. Four hats. I can't move. <laughs> when we was out today, we did a little bit of a recce, um, just for a nice location, just in case we got a chance to see the Aurora. Um, and on the way back to Tromso, we kind of found another lay-by that was by the Fjord, or by a Fjord, I should say. And we thought this would be really nice. So what we didn't realise though is how much traffic this road was going to get of a night. We thought it'd be a little bit quiet, but never mind. Anyway, we was in the hotel room and we looked at the forecast and the temperatures kind of kind of down to minus six, minus seven. The forecast of the Aurora was KP zero, getting up to two in the next 24 hours at best. 
but we thought, well, one thing we definitely know, there's no chance of seeing it in the hotel room. So, sorry, Helen's getting a bit excited. So we came out and obviously, and the Aurora had arrived before we'd even got here, which was fantastic. As we pulled in, we got the tripod out, got the camera out, and you can see this beautiful kind of band um, kind of going across the sky, but it wasn't until we started doing a kind of 20 second, 25 second exposure, and it was greens and purples, and oh, it's beautiful. It's not storm level, it's not dancing all over the sky, but it's great, and I'm so pleased we didn't just rely on the forecast and think, well, there's no point in going out. So pleased we're here. Right, ignore what I said on that last bit of filming. They are dancing, <laughs> they really are dancing. We've got three cameras running now. Such a shame about the light pollution, but you know what? I really don't care. They are amazing. KP0, hey, they know what they're talking about. Even though we've been based in Tromso, we've spent so little time here because we've been out every day, literally kind of just looking at the landscape and imaging that. So we thought tonight we'll have an evening in Tromso. Tromzo, it's been a blast. 